Hello, friends. Hello, everybody, and welcome, 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 welcome to Spooktober. Woo! Uh, we have had loads of people stream so far today. I will get to all my highs and hellos here in just a moment. Um, but so so far for Spooktober, we've had. Um, Color and Felt Heather, we've had Coloring Art by Karen Valentine, Nick and Tina, Jennifer Zimmerman, and now me. After me, it will be CBC Coloring Book Club. That is also Heather. So if you want to take a look at the schedule, type in exclamation point Spooktober and, uh, and click on all your favorite illustrators and colorists and, and streamers and all of that. Plus, all of the information is in the description below. Cat, hello, cat. Or Ev, <laughs> I got a switch now in my head. Evelyn, thank you so much. Can we get some hypes in chat for Evelyn? You can type in exclamation point hype, or if you're a member, you can use those handy dandy emotes. Hey, we'll throw in a super Steve. If my computer catches up with me. There we go. All right, there we go. Uh, thank you so much, Kat. What a great way to start get started. Okay, so we have 40 people in here already and chat is just flying by. So because we have so much to get to in a short amount of time, I am going to... Tara Lynn! Thank you, Tara Lynn. Thank you so much. Can we get some hypes in chat for Tara Lynn? Throw up those emotes or type in exclamation point hype. Thank you so much, Tara Lynn. Uh, you all are so sweet. Um, but yeah, so we have a ton to get to tonight because we also have some other exciting news, things that happened. Some of you are kind of already aware of it, but in case you weren't, we're going to go over it. So I'm going to skip the hellos. I'm going to do a blanket hello because you know I love you all and you're all so absolutely wonderful. And hold that thought one second. I need to turn on my fan in here. So give me one moment. Okay. Fan is going. Okay, so before we get too far, and by the way, um, I have a feeling chat is going to be flying by tonight. So if I don't see your comment or there's something specifically you want to ask or tell me, go ahead and put it in caps and I will be um, more likely to be able to see it. So we are going to do something real quick. For those of you who don't know, I posted it on the YouTube community and I posted it on in the Facebook group. Kind of like a soft open so that I could kind of work out the kinks and everybody could check it out. The Harry Potter music, I think one of the songs might have been a Harry Potter music, but I went through and grabbed a bunch of new um, kind of like Halloween sort of themed themed music. So it's all just sort of, you know, and probably because I did some kind of spookier stuff for, for Harry Potter. Um, but, and I apologize, the, my, I have allergies, so if I'm sniffing, that's why. Angie, welcome. Welcome to the Colorist Package. You are now a member of the channel. You have access to all of our handy dandy emotes here. Let me see if I can click it here. Oh my goodness. There we go. Handy dandy emotes. There we go. And you have a fancy little pencil by your hand. And that can actually segue into the announcement. So um, after being in a few of the uh, streams this last week or so, I got chatting with some people and we were talking about Oh, sure. Oh, the lemon for that. Oh, they're stickers. They're stickers. So you you do super chat stickers. Um, and so uh, we were chatting. A lot of people were saying how they'd love to kind of keep the conversation going. Something that's sort of like a chat room, but, you know, not exactly a YouTube chat. And so, uh, sorry, grabbing a tissue. Um, one of the things that is a good program to use, it's called Discord. And in Discord, there are different channels and you can talk about different subjects and everything. And so we have some members already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up here in a second. And for those of you that are interested or don't really know your way around the program yet, I'm going to give you just a short kind of brief overview so you kind of know how to navigate around and kind of know what everything is for. So let's see if I can get this to work. There we go. Okay, so this is, I'm going to make sure the music is turned down here so you can hear me nice and clear. This is what Discord is. Now, this is used with a lot of, um, like, gamers and such and everything. You see here on the right-hand side, there's me, and then these are all the other members that we have in here so far. This first page here is the welcome page. It kind of keeps track. You advance levels based on how much you chat. Hi, Joanna. And again, I know I haven't said hi to anybody, but I see you all. I do. Um, you gain levels based on how much you chat and interact and think levels don't really mean anything in particular. It's just kind of cool to see like, oh, hey, like I've been chatting a lot. So I'm level five already. 
Um, but this is kind of the Sherry. Oh, thank you, Sherry. You are so sweet. Can we get some hypes in chat for Sherry? I can't type my right now because I've got this up, but thank you so much, Sherry. Um, so this is the welcome room. It'll say, you know, who's joined and you can say hi back and everything. The next one we have is rules. Anybody who joins needs to make sure they read over all of the rules because it's going to cover posting and just general discord etiquette. But it's all, you know, pretty basic, you know, don't post anything gross. Don't be mean. Don't bully. That's basically it. Um, and then we have the announcements channel where usually I'll post for, you know, maybe the live stream that's coming up. I've got the Spooktober Colorathon. Now, in these three channels here, Welcome, Rules, and Announcements, I don't have it so that you guys, or, well, I guess Welcome you can post. Rules and Announcements, you can't post in. This is strictly for me to give information for you guys. So um, this is more kind of, you know, informing you. Then we have our text channels, which are super fun. So general chat, we've already been going loads at it, is literally just that. It's it's general chat and we talk about absolutely everything so you know it's just been kind of everybody getting used to the server everybody just kind of having fun and let me preface this with it's completely free it's not like patreon thing it's just an extension kind of of what what we do but we can keep it going like a chat room you can post gifts and pictures and all that kind of things which brings me to the next channel is post your colorings. So go ahead and post your colorings, any artist, any work in progress, um, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, let us know who the artist is or book just so that we can, you know, if anybody wants to color. Also, you know, it's, it's nice to, you know, credit, credit artists and everything if they do that. Um, our next one is events, which is where, so for now, it's set at we can post, you know, our Spooktober things. Um, you know, I posted when the first, you know, one was this morning. I posted that in there. And I'm going to get through this quick. I know everybody's here for the coloring, but I wanted to make sure everyone kind of knew. I promised a few people I'd go through this real quick. We have a pets channel where you can post pictures of your pets. So we've got that going already. We have a food pick channel, which I may have slapped a bunch of food pics on there. Um, so if you are making something yummy or you have a cool recipe feel free to post that here and like I said it's just general chat it's just a way for everybody to kind of hang out and just talk about different things oh you you had not Rochelle okay see ya sorry I've got it sort of next to me and it's just it's sort of flying we also have a self promo channel where you can promote your channel your YouTube your Etsy your Facebook whatever it is that you do this is the channel to put it so that's the self promo now we have two more channels here oh, this one's gonna slide up here we have a Doctor Who channel because anybody that knows me knows I love Doctor Who. We realize we should probably put it separate so that we don't uh, inundate those who maybe don't have as big a love for uh, David Tennant. Yes, Sherry, really. But it's a separate channel, Sherry. You can avoid it all together. So we're just keeping the Doctor Who out of the general chat. <laughs> And then um, we've got some YouTube members only um, channels. So people that are already a YouTube member on YouTube, like those of you who have, who have, you know, there was one that joined. Yes, these are mine, Joanna. So this is the Discord server. Um, there is a link for it in the description below of this video where you can join the Discord. I haven't made a command for it yet, um, but it is in the description below. So you can just click that and do it. It's an easy mobile app. It's a tablet app. But later down the line, we have the ability to have a YouTube members only. I'll set the roles here so we could have just... You know, if I ever wanted to do, you know, free downloads for members, I can put the links here so they can access it that. We also have some voice channels where later if we want to all, you know, actually talk with our voices, you know, not video, just voices, we can be in here. Um, I have a stream voice channel. So, you know, if I have somebody on stream, so this all has potential, but basically this is what it is. It doesn't cost anything. It's not anything too crazy. It's literally just so that we can carry on the conversation and build a bit more of a community. So join it if you like, if not, it's not a big deal. Um, but your memberships do carry on over. So anyway, uh, yeah, so we got welcome. So we have Testaruru <laughs> has joined and Angie has joined and Ariane has joined. So yeah, so just take a look at it, add stuff if you want, comment on things. You can add reactions. So like here um, we have uh, 
uh, MJ, or I think it's Marilyn, um, here, once you go to her thing, you can hover over Add Reaction. And we have our specific channels here. So you can go here and like select, you know, this one and go, woohoo, I like that one. You know, here you've got all of your GIFs. You can type in what you want there. You've got your emotes over here. So there's loads to do. Poke around, see what you like. Um, and yeah, hoping to foster a little bit more of a community. I'm going to post this on Instagram too um, for everything else. So ah, there's Belinda. She says hi. So yeah, it's just for fun and I kind of way to just keep chatting with everyone after the streams are over. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to... Um, Oh, not that one. Haha. <laughs> uh, feel free to shoot me a message or comment or something, and I can do my best to uh, to help you out. <laughs> what do I do with my hands? <laughs> yeah. Shelly, hi. Um, I started a Discord channel, and um, I promised I would go through uh, go through it at the beginning of stream today. And it kind of gave a chance for everybody to still kind of come in and everything. So, um, like I said, the link for the Discord channel is in the description below. Anybody watching this back, go ahead and click on it. And again, if you have any questions or want me to go through things again, feel free to message me, okay? All right. I know I talked fast, too. I apologize. But that is out of the way now. Um, before we jump into the coloring, there'll be a few more things too. Um, on Monday, I'm going to go through it some more, but Evelyn sent me a, the post office was a little bit more rough with it, but Christine Karen. So Monday, we're going to go through this. All right. And we're going to take a look at it. Thank you, Kat. The other thing is too, my original plan was to do three giveaways for tonight. But if you look over oop, right here, Look what number we're at for subscriber count. So I'm gonna throw in an extra giveaway tonight. So we're gonna do four giveaways. We're gonna do what, two where you can choose any page. Yes, we're currently going through announcements. <laughs> thank you, Shannon. Um, we are, thank you, Mary. Uh, we are gonna do two giveaways for any page in my shop and we're gonna do two giveaways for any sticker in my shop and that is open worldwide. So whoever wins, I'll go ahead and get that mailed out to you. I was gonna wear these cause I thought, hey, black, cool. But I gotta be honest, it is way too hot for these. I'm taking them off. <laughs> but I do have a uh, little Halloween nails, purple and purple and orange. Ah, thanks everyone. <laughs> You're fine, Shelly. Um, yeah, so this page here is my uh, fairy pumpkin house. You can find this in my Etsy store. Thanks, Joanna. Um, as well as all the other images for Spooktober are in the description below. All the other streamers and artists and illustrators and all of that. All the information you need is mm, down below. <laughs> so, yeah. April, you can enter. Why wouldn't? Yeah, anybody can enter. You're good. This is, this is, I mean, whether or not you won in somebody else's channel, this is, this is, yeah, we're, we're a whole separate, well, not separate stream, but yes, starting afresh. So anyone can join. Hi, Kenny. Okay. So we are going to be coloring today. And those of you who also know, I did get some Copics and I want to show those off, but we have limited time today and we're already 13 minutes past. So Monday, we're going to talk about, I'll show you all the Copics and the pages that I did with the Copics and the new coloring book and all of that. But for today, it is Spooktober. I had the sound shut off to this stream and was hearing Jennifer and her mermaid tail stream. So no wonder it was being talked about. It didn't match what I was seeing on the screen. Oh, Shelly. <laughs> Someone scream at me on here if anything good happens since I can't hear anything at the moment. Oh, no, Loretta. Awesome, Tara Lynn. And those of you that are YouTube members, I'm going to go through after the stream and make sure that you are all um, have your member roles in the Discord because that will give you access to the other channels. There's nothing going on in the other channels right now, but there will be eventually. So because I literally just finished making this Discord channel like yesterday. Cat uh, Colors, actually, she she had the idea for it. and I was like, oh, my gosh, that's great. She's like, yeah. Um, so we are going to be coloring with move the pumpkin out of the way. We are going to be. Oh, awesome, Andrea. Uh, we are going to be coloring with Faber Castell polychromos today. I was debating about it. I was like, you know what? We're going Faber Castell. So why don't. You don't know how to join join Discord. So Joanna, when you go down to the link before below, whether or not you're on mobile or desktop, you'll click the link, and then you will get a prompt on whichever device you're on to go ahead and download. Uh, uh, 
sorry, losing my train of thought, um, <laughs> to download the program that you need for it. It's totally free, totally trustworthy, and it's just fun, and you'll be able to jump in on the conversation. Yeah, no worries, Joanna. And for those of you that maybe missed it too after the stream, you can always go back and watch the beginning where I went over it. Belinda, thank you. And Allie, welcome. Oh my gosh, you guys are all so amazing. Okay, gonna get lots of hypes in the channel here. All right, so emotes. Here we go. Thank you so much, everyone. And exclamation point hype. There we go. Let's get some hypes in chat for Allie and Belinda. Thank you so much, everyone. And Allie, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So, yeah. All right. Let's jump in. A lot of the other, uh, you know, housekeeping stuff we'll discuss more on Monday. But we will try and keep this um, spooktobery. We got our spooktober music here. We'll turn this back up. And we got our stuff and our little, little pumpkin and our little, little spider fella here. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start with, let's do, <laughs> that was a Steelers fan. Let's go ahead and just start with the pumpkin, okay? Nice and easy, kind of getting us warmed up here. Um, and we will continue this too, even after, um, after the stream so that we can finish it. All right, let's grab our walnut brown, sanguine. <laughs> Um, let's see, Walnut Brown, which is 177, and then, you see, I got all my light reflections, because I laminate my color charts. <laughs> all right, so, Walnut Brown, Sanguine, 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 I don't know, it's, it's a word. Some words are more complicated than others, right, Allie? Me too. Okay, Sanguine, and then let's grab, let's grab Cadmium, no. Let's grab orange glaze and dark chrome yellow. All right, so orange glaze. Let's see. Dark, dark chrome yellow. Here we are. Dark chrome yellow and orange glaze. And let's also grab ivory. Oof. Okay, here we go. These are our colors to begin with. We'll definitely be grabbing more colors at some point. <laughs> awesome, Sherry. Yes, and if you do happen to color the pages, um, my, my pages from Spooktober, uh, feel free to tag me on it so I can see you if you post them on social media or anything. All right, let's move this out of the way. So who here has been able to go to all of the streams? Doing good, Nick and Tina, doing good. It's been a busy day. It's Friday, so the kids had school today. So it's always fun trying to get that out of the way, but Steve, Steve, not gonna lie, Steve does a lot of the work. <laughs> right, Ev? I know, normally I go through like every single, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to do, gonna have to do uh, uh, blanket hellos. <laughs> Well, a lot of them are, you're, well, at least all of them, you should be able to uh, watch back on them. So that should be fun. But we did decorate for Halloween today around the house. So that should be fun. I gotta find, I know I have some orange LED lights somewhere, some more. So gotta do that. Made a pretty tasty soup. Posted a little video of that on, um, on Instagram. All right, let's slide this up. Make this a bit brighter. There we go. Make sure there's no crumbs or dust or whatever. <laughs> okay. All right. So we are going to start. I know he's only my husband. He did. Well, and he has his own emote now too, Kenny. Let's see. There it is. Super Steve. Yes, yeah, Steve finally got to become, finally got to become a mod. <laughs> I missed one or two today, but I'll go back and watch them all later. Going to try and make it through this one, but I'm a lightweight and need sleep. That's okay, Amy. That's okay. All right, so we are going to start with Walnut Brown. I've seen a few of you um, have colored these ones already, so that's fun. I've got a few more colors of the Copics coming, and I ordered orange and a couple more fall colors, so I'm hoping to do more pages with it. Aw, thanks, Mitch. Awesome, Ev. Right, Rhea? 
By the way, Kenny is awesome. I know, right? Kenny, have you been, you've been like all of them, right? I mean, I know you and Shannon are like mods and pretty much like all the channels, but. <laughs> Watching Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Zimmerman's channel. Man, that, she is so good with those markers and pencils. Now that I've got those Copics, I've got to definitely try uh, and practice at having it, um, down as uh, as base colors. I just don't have the right orange for this. Otherwise, I probably would have done this. Oh, awesome, Charlotte. Okay. I have to edit the videos I did with your page to so hopefully have this weekend. Awesome, Sherry. Had to redo the pumpkin. Aw, today was easy so far. <laughs> well, promise me you will get some sleep tonight, Kenny. Right, Shelly? I know I'm always making them. But you know, I had some, um, I've been brainstorming lately because um, we've been talking a lot because Mary loves teapots. And so I've been brainstorming some ideas. We were joking about a teapot coloring book, but really, I think it'd be really cool. So I've been like brainstorming different kinds of teapots. Uh, teapots from around the world, you know, just kind of funky teapots. I keep flashing back to that um, Alice in Wonderland uh, scene with the Mad Hatter, and they've got all the different teapots on the uh, on the table. But <laughs> sleep, Kenny and I don't need no stinking sleep. <laughs> Super women. All of you wonderful colorists have inspired me to finally up some videos too. Oh, awesome, Tammy. Okay, so we're gonna use Sanguine now. I don't know, how do you all pronounce it? Sanguine or Sanguine? Now I feel silly calling it Sanguine. <laughs> Sleep? Nah. I do love tea Oh my gosh, Emily, you're gonna make me faint. Oh, Mary. <laughs> I haven't decided exactly yet, you know, what kind of format. Like, do I want to make it like a full page with like all details around it? Or do I want to make it like just a teapot and, you know, literally just be different kinds of teapots and, you know, have the teapot be the focal? I haven't decided yet. Honestly, I haven't had time to really start sketching ideas. So um, when I get to that, I'm going to start brainstorming here. And oh, we did the food section on Discord just for Mary and Tanya. They were definitely the inspiration for that, uh, Evelyn. I couldn't not do the food section, you know? <laughs> how many are you going to... How many are going to try and last the entire color -a -thon? Oh, Shelly, I will not be able to. I I'll have children that will be demanding attention tomorrow, and Steve needs backup. <laughs> oh, awesome, Mitch. Perfect. Yeah, I think we've got a few uh, New Zealanders and Aussies in here. Oh, man, you guys are brave. He Evelyn, you're going to do it? You guys, oh, Shelly, you guys are so brave. Lots of coffee. Oh my gosh, speaking of coffee. So in one of the streams, Shara suggested uh, oat milk. And um, I've been trying to limit dairy anyway. So I found some oat milk creamer. It's actually really good. Not quite as creamy, obviously, as milk. So there's that little bit of difference. But I have a frother and today I kind of whipped it up and oat milk is like a little bit thicker. And so it foamed up really, really nice. So yeah, that was an extremely pleasant cup of coffee today. I really enjoyed it. Gotta stare at that creepy bug. It's just teeny tiny. He's a cute bug. He's like that little uh, cute spider, Lucas, on YouTube. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, we're going to use orange glaze now. Well, see, and I don't like, I don't do a lot of like scary Halloween. As you can tell, I did a little fairy house and a little cute bat on a pumpkin for my pictures and so a lot of the little uh, animations were like zombie things and like scary things they had another spider one that gave me the creeps and so I was just like nope this one's cute <laughs> oh awesome Ashley nine hours oh goodness Barbara oh awesome Anna <laughs> Think of them like, uh, like maybe it's a girl and it's Charlotte from Charlotte's Web. And really she just wants, you know, wants to find a friend, you know, a little pig friend and, and go on adventures together. Aw, thanks, Mitch. Well, we definitely have some more stuff planned for the future. 
I swear, one of these days I need to do like a just chatting stream where we just talk and catch up and answer questions and go over books. I should really do that. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Emily, I have Tanya hitting her device and freaking out at <laughs> that spider. Oh no, Tanya, don't hit it. Don't hit it. <laughs> Third pot of tea so far? Oh my goodness, Ev. I've popped in and out of almost all the streams. I'd love to be in all of them, but this is a rough weekend. So I'm trying as hard as I can. See, I've been in all of them today. I've just been lurking because the kids had school today and I was prepping for tonight and everything. So let's see. All right, dark chrome yellow. So I've been in them. I have just been unable to chat. So I just made sure I did my thumbs up and I lurked. <laughs> Dealing with the exterminator everywhere I look is don't need. Oh no. Oh no, Coloraholic. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, that's probably a little stressful. Unfortunately, I can't take it off while I'm streaming. I'm sorry. Hi, Heather. Hi. Oh, we're going to be doing more layers here. I don't know. Raise of hands. Who's bothered by the spider? I could try and fix it here, see if I can click it off. I've been lurking first because I was actually in it, and then because I was coloring. That works. You need the blind option where chat is read to you so you can reply to everything while coloring, right? That would be fantastic. We'll just get Steve in here to read the chat. Steve, come read the chat. No, Steve's doing stuff tonight. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to take our ivory here. I feel like I want another brown. We need another brown. Um, let's grab raw umber. Yeah? Raw umber, is that what I want? No, I don't want raw umber. Walnut brown. We want burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is what I want. Burnt sienna, 283. All right. <laughs> yes, it's not real, Mitch. All right, 283. Go over that walnut brown a little bit. This needs quick sharpen. <laughs> right, George? It's cute! Okay. So, burnt sienna. Yeah, I thought about doing uh, black nails, but opted for purple and orange this time. You guys know me. I love my color. <laughs> Oh, Ashley. <laughs> Sounds good, April. Steampunk later? I had no plans to. Is there a steampunk event that I that I missed? Like if it wasn't late at night, I'd totally want another cup of coffee too, just because it was so good. Oh, on your hub's computer. Okay, sounds good, Michelle. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go ahead and grab that sanguine again. Oh, April. Revving their car outside. Pillow says hi to your blankets. So, does anybody here have a favorite uh, Halloween movie? I know a lot of people like Hocus Pocus. When I was a kid, I liked to watch Casper. I wouldn't say that I have a favorite Halloween movie now. I mean, like, I like to watch Charmed. Mm, actually, I take it back. I like the, so I, I like a lot of TV shows probably more than movies, 
and the Halloween episode on uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer where they get trapped in the fraternity house and um, Buffy's dressed as like Red Riding Hood and Anya's dressed as a rabbit. Anyway, it was just, it's hilarious. That's probably my favorite Halloween episode. Hocus Pocus and Poltergeist. See, that's the thing is I can't do uh, like legit, like horror, scary movies. I just can't. It's too scary. <laughs> okay. Actually, I want to do more of this. A little bit darker here too. Yeah, Tammy, I can't. I'm I'm too emotional. Nightmare before Christmas. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Aspie. <laughs> Halloween, thirty days of night, and shine and the shining. I was telling somebody earlier in chat. I used to live nearby the hospital um, where they film the shining, so we drive past it all the time, and it is so creepy on the outside. Like no joke. We are gonna need to get some green on this for sure. We're gonna kind of go over that middle a bit. All right, we want to get some green here. Let's grab, which one do I want? Permanent all green? No, we're going to get all of green yellowish. But we... All right. Wait, did you say the hospital from The Shining? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it's really creepy on the outside. I've got enough shirts to wear one Jack Skellington shirt each day for October. Amy, that's amazing. Oh, and is that Jack Skellington as your profile picture? I see kind of the curved mountain. Okay, cool. George is not laughing because I just made everyone think he's afraid of spiders. Oh gosh, that's hilarious. He could be. Well, what am I thinking, the Steve? Hospital is from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Oh, that's what I was because I was thinking Jack. Was also filmed in our home state. Was it okay? That's what I was. Ex I was confused. Which one is Jack Nicholson's in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Both. Well, that's why I was confused. Okay, I was thinking Jack Nicholson. All right. Yeah, the the. Uh, oh yeah, because Allie just said I thought it was a hotel. Okay. The Chinese filmed up in Timberline. Oh, okay. Yeah, Allie, you're right. Yeah, Steve came in and corrected me. See, that's why I need you to keep yeah, help. In the, in the state hospital. That's for One flew over the cuckoo's nest. nest. Okay. See, I haven't seen either of them. They all creep me out. <laughs> the state hospital used to look really creepy, too. Have they changed it? it they updated it, but mm. you remember driving by it. Like, yeah, it was totally it creepy. Because occasionally there would be somebody from the hospital looking out the window, and you would just see this silhouette of someone just staring at you. It's so creepy. Okay, so olive green, yellowish. Thanks, Steve. There we go. See, I'm getting my Jack Nicholson movies mixed up. <laughs> I used to sing in a band that played... A wedding at the hotel that The Shining is based on. Oh, okay. I know, right, Charlotte? It was a little bit. Because I remember driving by at one time and I looked over and there was like the third story and you just saw this shape of a person. It wasn't someone walking by or someone like leaning on the window. Like this person was perfectly centered in the window. Like it wasn't even the back of them. You couldn't quite see their face, but it was like this shadow and they were just staring out the window at like, well, they were probably just watching, but add in the, you know, the factor that this person was like in a hospital gown and was just staring. I was like, oh God. <laughs> the Decent was the scariest movie I've ever watched. The Overlook is a real place. Don't like that it has the only clown horror. <laughs> yeah, I can't do clown horror either. The Stanford Hotel in Colorado? Or are you talking about for The Shining? That one? No, I'm talking, I, I was mistaken. I'm talking about um, the hospital that was filmed for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Yeah, Joanne, it was way creepy. I don't know. I don't do a lot of scary movies. Um, when I was younger, like maybe we'd be like at a party or something. And there was one sort of like horror movie that was played. 
And then, like, I had an ex-boyfriend that liked to watch the Saw movies, and I couldn't, I couldn't get through that. I was like, nope, 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 nope. I just, I'm, I'm a happy-go-lucky kind of person, and those movies stress me out. I think the last movie that legitimately, like, gave me nightmares, and some of you are probably going to laugh at this, but it was uh, I Am Legend with Will Smith. But that's also because I have an irrational fear of apocalypses. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't watch that one. All right, Walnut Brown. I mean, I mean, heck, I had a panic attack after watching, uh, The Day After Tomorrow, and that wasn't even that great of a movie, but I was just like, ah, I can't do it. I'm gonna go watch Frozen. <laughs> I was obsessed as a kid over doing movie special effects, so I basically learned how everything is done. Oh, okay, see, that might help unmask some of the, some of the scariness a little bit, too. Which could help. A haunted hotel. Oof. I can't remember the last time I went to a haunted house. I think I was in college and I was with friends. And I just know, I'm using Burnt Sienna now. Uh, I just remember the people I was with, one of the guys that we were with, like, he was, he was a, like, a pretty, like, pretty tall guy. So I was able to, like, hold on to him and, like, bury my face in his back. And I just closed my eyes because they all wanted to go through. And I didn't really want to, but we were as a group. So I just, like, hid my face as we walked through the whole thing and, and like, just bolted after we were done. I just can't do scary. <laughs> See, that and the girls always trip while running away from... Yes, right? Who, you know, you just, you just... And you don't hide in the bathroom. <laughs> All right, sanguine now. Yeah, stay away from bathrooms, especially the tubs with the shower curtain around it. Oh my gosh, Joanna, that's right. You were telling you were telling us about that one. Oh my gosh, the imagery on that is pretty hilarious. See, so I stayed in a hotel in England by myself. It really narrow halls and carpet like The Shining. I hated it. Oh yeah, I would too. You'll have to tell me that story, Steve. I don't know that I know that story. And for those of you who are no, uh, Steve is also my hubby. So um, he's 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 Mr. Emily Illustrator, otherwise known as Steve Illustrator. <laughs> I, can't, I don't do horror movies when I was five. My cousin sat on me and made me watch the bloop. What's the bloop? Ghost hunters investigated there. I totally want to stay there on Halloween. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, gosh. My heart would pound. We stayed in one of those places in London. Also, the room we were supposed to be in was haunted, but we didn't see anything. Oh, gosh. Oh, Wendy. Um, so down at the bottom, there is a... Um, it depends on if you're mobile or, or on desktop. But if you click on... If you're on mobile and you click on the little dollar symbol, it'll pop up and it should have the options to do Super Chat, a sticker, or join as a member. Or... Um, I believe that's what it is. Let me check. Come on, phone. Yes. Okay. So the dollar will do Super Sticker, Super Chat, or Join. And Join is the bottom one. Or if you're on a desktop, there should be a Join button underneath the um, the video and that will get you a badge by your name emotes uh, specifically for this channel that you can use during a live chat that will also grant you member status in the discord um, where there is a um, because here there's also like members only I can do members only posts but in the discord there will be a members only channel where when I start creating uh, member specific content that's where it will go also had an idea for maybe down the road um doing like member streams where maybe like one of the members could come on or you know a couple of them or something and we do like voice chat during streams so that could be cool dark chrome yellow so i have ideas uh in the future but um mainly right now what it'll get you is access to those channels as well as um uh, emotes and a badge and all of that stuff and you'll see that there's some different color badges um, and you get different color badges based on how long you've been a member I lasted 10 minutes into Texas Chainsaw Massacre and I was like nope I'm out oh nope I couldn't I could not do that I could not do that Amityville Horror the original one I like yeah see uh, Allie I'm using polychromos but I'm actually about to use a white prismacolor because I want to blend some of this out and I don't want to use the blender because it'll brighten it. And I actually kind of want to soften the color a little bit. Ooh, a corn maze. Oh, Joanna. Okay, so Joanna, are you on desktop or are you on mobile? Oh, no, I'm breaker of tips. Shell, Shell, you're rubbing off on me. Broke a tip. 
To be fair, it's just because I sharpened it too tight. Finally got my hands on some extra whites. My dick black order came in. Aw, Joanna. Mobile right now? Okay, so since you're in live chat, Joanna, what you're going to do is you're going to hit that X and close live chat, okay? Once you close live chat, you're going to see the title that says Live Stream Spooktober Colorathon. There's a little point arrow, arrow pointed down. You're going to tap that. That will open up the description for it. And then what you'll have is it'll say started streaming so many minutes ago. It'll say join our coloring Facebook group. And then underneath that, it'll say join our brand new Discord. And there'll be a link that says discord.gg slash nzrwtbw. Click on that. And then that is when you'll get prompted to download the app. Children of the Corn freaked me out. I seem to remember hearing that was that was pretty scary. Like, I don't know. I think there's a different kinds of scary movies. There's like scary movies where you're just scared because like a ghost, but nobody actually dies. And then there's just the violent ones. And I just cannot. Oh, nope. I just can't. I have way too active of an imagination. Like if I draw, if I watch anything remotely scary before bed, like I am up and jumping at like every single shadow, like all night. It's terrifying. I can't do it. Had a boyfriend that thought he was going to be funny and take me to a horror movie, which was one has Johnny Depp. Oh no, we lost all 15 minutes because his shoulder was, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I can't do, yeah, I can't do scary movie. You don't have permission to view anything on there? You should, Allie. Let me see. When did you join, Allie? Oh, you joined way early. Allie, have you been in since? There was a problem with permissions before. Try going back in and seeing if you can view things now. I changed some stuff and I haven't had any issues since I changed it. So try, um, uh, try, try logging into it again and check and see if it, uh, if it works for you. I can't post links, but if you Google Quaker Church, oh, oh, on here. Okay, okay. Last night? Yeah, it would have been last night because I made it last night. So yeah, go back in and it should work now, Allie. I had one of my permission settings was slightly off from last night. Okay, I'm gonna use Sanguine. So I know that I'm going over this one section a lot, but that's kind of just how I build up my layers on here. I mean, people ask me sometimes how I blend and yeah, I might spend 20 minutes on one section just because of the amount of layers I put on here for your, you know, the shadows that I want to get or something like that, you know, so it just sometimes takes me a little bit to get through, but that's why we can continue this page. And I'm going to, I might do one more here, but I mean, you guys were here for when I colored my mermaid shell. That one took me a little while. All right. And orange glaze. Kind of going over that white now. There we go. And then dark chrome yellow. And I'll get into the Discord after stream today so that if anybody has any questions popped in there or anything else or I need to assign roles for people who are members and stuff, um, I will do that. Okay, let's do a couple of them. Any giveaways? Yes, we're going to do two giveaways. Or, no, four giveaways. What time is it? 8.43. Oh, gosh, we started at 8. Actually, now would probably be a good time. We just started that section. So, yeah, we've got four to split up over these two hours, and we only have an hour and 15 minutes left already. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our first giveaway. And this first giveaway is going to be for, um, let's see, which one do I want to do first? Let's do, let's do a sticker first, okay? This one is going to be for any sticker in my, in my Etsy store. So if you type exclamation point Etsy, you can see all the stickers. Our newest one is this holographic teapot here. So that is the newest one that's in the store. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do a giveaway. So if you want a chance to enter the giveaway, go ahead and type in the word sticker and that will, um, that will enter you for a chance and we're going to roll it here in just a little bit okay so we'll let that run for just just a smidge all right let's go ahead and grab this walnut brown now this is like the open cut part of the pumpkin 
So this is going to look just a tad different. Chad is flying. Chad is flying. And for those of you that are new to the channel, I saw we had some new subscribers too. Thank you for subscribing. Um, we are usually live Mondays and Fridays. We may increase to Wednesdays um, in the future, but for now it's just Monday and Fridays um, at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, but we are going to be live again on Sunday for another Spooktober. And that will be at... 4 p.m. Central Time. And if you are in another country and you're having a hard time with the time changes, just type in exclamation point Spooktober. That will give you the schedule and it's got all of the um, time conversions on it. I started at 5 p.m. No, 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 no. Sunday, I'm starting at 4 p.m. Did I say something off? Sunday, I'm starting at 4 p.m. But regular streams are 8.30 p.m. Did I say 5 p.m.? If I did, I... I I didn't mean to. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we've got loads of stuff happening. We've got the Facebook group. We've got the Discord now. So all kinds of stuff going on. Um, okay, let's use ch -ch 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 Burnt Sienna. Go real light here. Okay. And then we are going to grab... Let's see, I think... Cinnamon. Yes, cinnamon. We have cream out. I want to grab cream also. Joanna, welcome to the colorist package. Welcome to being a member. You now have a fancy little badge next to your name as well as access to all of our channel specific emotes. Thank you, Joanna. Okay. Let's use, oh fun, Terilyn. Yeah, can we get some hypes in chat for Joanna? Sorry, my mind is all over the place. Oh, Joanna, you're fine. You're fine. Here we go, hypes for Joanna, or you can type exclamation point hype. Thanks so much, Joanna. There we go. All right, so cinnamon. We go and then cream okay and we're gonna do another quick layer of those so we've got walnut brown <laughs> April okay okay so next question what is your favorite holiday tradition? I mean, obviously Halloween's going to be, no, I guess not holiday tradition. Sorry, I meant to say Halloween tradition. What is your favorite Halloween tradition? I know this year's Halloween is going to be fairly different for some, us included. Um, so, you know, we're not going to do everything normal. I have a, I have a decent plan for the kids and stuff, but Halloween tradition in a normal, uh, in a normal setting, what is your favorite? Eating, Steve, very nice. <laughs> oh, eating candy. Okay, that's fair. No, that's, it's, it's, it's fair. We get to eat the kids' candy. Pumpkin pie, eating, very nice. Watching scary movies and going to haunted houses. Is drinking a tradition? Yes, Joanna. Pumpkin pie, eating. Deck out our yard like crazy. Don't forget drawing. That's true. Yeah, you got uh, Inktober. That's fair, Angie. Yeah, I think there's definitely some uh, dark chrome yellow. There's definitely some holidays that we do. Wait, did I use? No, I'm supposed to be using cinnamon. Oh, um, there's definitely some holidays here that I think we we go that the U.S. does a lot more than uh, than other countries. Let's see. Uh, eating candy. Scaring the punks like to steal the kids' candies. Nice, Amy. Watching the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Oh, I have. Oh, it's on my wall now. But Crystal, I um, I went through this period with Johanna Pictures where I added characters, I'm using cream, to pages. And I added Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin in one of her tree pictures. And I made a Halloween picture. I think it's on my Instagram somewhere. 
And like I was saying, got 15 to 20 small diamond paintings from my brother and his family from birthday. Oh, nice, Tara Lynn. Australia, New Zealand don't celebrate. Ah, okay. Roasted pumpkin seeds. Yes, Michelle. I like making them, but I don't like eating them. <laughs> Sitting outside with a fire pit, having a cocktail, handing out candy. Oh, Karen, that sounds so nice. I want a fire pit. Halloween supper with the family. Christine, what do you do? Um, we're using the Prismacolor White now. Christine, what do you uh, do for your Halloween supper? Like, what are the, some of the foods that you eat? Hi, Kelly. Hocus Pocus, a nightmare for Christmas and Halloween. Nice. Play a game called CLR, and we play for cash. So much fun. What's CLR, Joanna? I have a whole both set of the peanut... Oh, box set of the peanut specials. Nice. Rocky Horror at least four or five times during October. Nice. My brother and sister, my twin came today and visited for my twin and my birthday. Aw, Tara Lynn, that's right. Happy birth. That's today, right? Because yesterday you were saying tomorrow's your birthday. Hey, can we get some happy birthdays in chat for Tara Lynn? And also, Tara Lynn, I'm going to sing you my little birthday song, okay? Are you ready? Because it's pretty epic. Pretty epic. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Tara Lynn, are you ready? Okay. Okay, here it is. Here it is. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Cha -cha -cha. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tara Lynn. Happy birthday. I'm glad you got to see your siblings. <laughs> that's, that's my little birthday song. <laughs> you like that, Sherry? <laughs> All right, Walnut Brown. Well, then this is like a pretty big celebration. You get a, the, the color -a -thon and everything. Lots to do today. You're welcome, Tara Lynn. It was pretty epic. I know. It was, it was just mind blown. Mind blown. Short and to the point. It, it works. It works. My grandkids eat scared, scared food. For example, hot dogs. Look, oh, yeah. Okay. Or you can do like mummy dogs where you wrap it in like that croissant, uh, the Pillsbury croissants make mummy dogs. I didn't get one this summer. Get one of what? Oh, thanks, Joanna. <laughs> okay, uh, burnt sienna. Okay, and cinnamon. <laughs> you like that, Kenny? When was your, were, were I, blah, 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 I can't talk. Was I streaming on your birthday, Sherry? Okay, and cream. Here we go. And then, oh, okay, Sherry. I'm like, oh no, I missed it. Okay, olive green, yellowish. A little bit here. Oh my gosh, the giveaway. Everybody entered it and I know <laughs> roll for it. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna roll. Here we go, roll it. Christine, yay. Christine, you win. Oh my gosh. That was hilarious. I totally forgot that we <laughs> did that. Okay, so Christine. And we're going to do three more giveaways, guys. We're going to do three more giveaways. Uh, Christine, go ahead and send me an email here with your mailing address and the sticker that you would like uh, from my Etsy store. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Halloween's not our thing. Pot chili, hot dogs, popcorn, and hocus pocus. Try to keep the dogs from having a breakdown. That's fair. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. You know, uh, since it is already almost nine o'clock, just so in case I don't forget it, let's, uh, that's what the don't forget draw. I know. I know. Uh, let's go ahead and do, uh, one more, uh, one more roll. Okay. We're going to do it from the same, actually, all right, so Christine, make sure you email me, okay? Make sure you email me with your sticker and your mailing address, okay? All right, so our next one is going to be for a coloring page from my Etsy store. So type in the word pumpkin if you want to enter for a chance to win uh, your choice of coloring page from my Etsy store. Um, we're not doing bundles, but if there's a page from a bundle you want, let me know. So just one page from my Etsy store. Uh, that is the prize for this giveaway. I wanted to fit in four. I want to fit in four because we hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. And yes, do I just randomly break out into song? Sometimes. Sometimes. As long as it's not copyrighted, I'm good. <laughs> All right. So, Walnut Brown. 
There we go. Now, one of the things I want to do, because the lights are going to be on in here, so before I forget, I want to make sure that we're going to do a bit of um, a glow around the window. So I'm just going to kind of block in some of the kind of yellowish color that I want so that, um, and I can darken this and refine it later, but this will remind me not to, uh, not to cut it out. So it's just real light cream, but it's light enough. Uh, it's dark enough that I can see it. So we're going to have that kind of glow there a little bit. I know it's kind of hard to see here, but I can see it. And that's all that matters. April, why wouldn't you be able to play? You haven't won here yet. You're good. Why wouldn't you be able to play? All right. Uh, Walnut Brown. Did you win in somebody else's channel or something earlier? But yeah, no, everybody has a chance. Well, except for Christine. Except for Christine. <laughs> I guess I should have said that. Sorry. Oh, thanks, Gracelyn. Uh, yeah, if anybody needs any coloring charts, I have a bunch of free downloads um, on my... It's in the Facebook group, but it's also on my webpage. So if you need coloring charts or um, worksheets to go with our color theory class or a gold class or some free coloring pages, um, go to, you can type in exclamation website or go to emilyillustrator.com and navigate to the download section. And that will have um, 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 all the free downloads. Oh yeah, that was weeks ago, April. That was weeks ago. No, you're good. Enter, enter, enter for sure. Yeah, that was weeks ago. Weeks, weeks, weeks. You're good. You are absolutely good. I don't know. I do. I wouldn't say I do giveaways frequently, but I definitely do them fairly often. I mean, what? We do a giveaway at least once a month, at least, I think. I think it's just worked out that way. At the very least, once a month. Sometimes more often. I guess it just depends on if, you know, stream was canceled or whatever else. But the last giveaway we did was last week or the week before and that was because we got the new um fairy teapot sticker and so um usually when i get a new sticker in the shop i do a giveaway for it all right awesome cindy awesome and i'm gonna take a look at the discord um after stream too all right so now we're gonna go ahead and roll it and this is for a page in my etsy store so please 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 Make sure you email me, um, any of all of the winners tonight, make sure that you email me after stream because I cannot get you your prize if you don't email me, all right? So we are gonna go ahead and roll it. And Cheryl, Cheryl Whitlatch, you are our winner. So Cheryl, take a look at my Etsy store. And uh, she's a sweaty. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Okay, I was just like, wait, I'm a sweaty? No, what? that doesn't make sense. Aw, oh, thanks, Mary. Oh, awesome, Charlotte. Um, so yeah, go ahead, take a look at my Etsy store, find what page you want, and then shoot me an email, and I will email it over to you. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay, April. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. All right, so it is nine. We're going to do two more giveaways before... Um... Flan, yummy! Or is it Flan? I think it's Flan, not Flan. Flan. I was thinking that Friends episode with the Flan. <laughs> Awesome, Joanna. Well, I'll take a look at everything uh, after stream. Um, but yeah, so just look at uh, which page you want and shoot me an email for what you want. And it doesn't have to be the fall ones or anything. Um, but uh, remember, for all of the illustrators, we're using Sanguine right now. All of the illustrators, um, their pages are discounted right now, um, as well as mine. So take a look at that. I'm trying to think. I also had a sale going for my stickers. It was running for a week. I'm wondering, I'm trying to remember. Yes. Okay. My stickers are also still on sale. All the stickers in the Etsy store are also on sale uh, for a little bit longer also. So if you had had your eye on um, a sticker, now would be the time to, uh, to, to get it. Aw, <laughs> you ladies are so sweet. Well, and if you have food posts, pet posts, coloring posts, general shenanigans, feel free to post them in the Discord. I approve of shenanigans. The more shenanigans, the better. Just, you know, not mean shenanigans. Nice shenanigans. We're, we're all nice here. I like happy things. <laughs> all right, and then we're going to grab orange glaze. 
And like I said, we're going to um, eventually finish this one on stream. We are also working on um, the next one. Uh, go ahead and type exclamation point email, Christine, in chat. That'll give you the command for it. Um, but it's also just hello at emilyillustrator.com. Um, but yeah, there you go. Thank you, Tanya. Uh, this is what we're also working on, and we're almost done with it. We'll be able to get this done in one more stream. So Monday, we're going to stream this and finish this up. And then the um, subsequent days, we will finish up this uh, fairy house day. There it is. Thank you so much, Tanya. Ah, uh, thanks, Pamela. All right, so orange glaze. And yeah, just make sure that you all email me the winners so that I can get you your um, your stuff. Oh, keyboard froze. Oh no, Shannon. Oh, sounds good, Jennifer. Your pumpkins looked absolutely amazing. I love it. I love just the visual texture that you can get on your images. It's absolutely fantastic. I have a few more colors coming for Copic, uh, for Copics. I tried to get a little bit of range, you know, made sure I had, you know, some red, some orange, some yellow, some blue, some green, some brown. Um, and so then I want to go ahead and try your technique of using, um, uh, 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 using the Copics as a base. Like that would have been perfect for this, but I don't have any good orange color for it. Uh, let's see. Oh, awesome, Charlotte. You know, what's funny, Joanna, is that it has worked out that I've actually, <laughs> that I've actually streamed three days, like, every, so, two weekends ago, we had the, um, Victorian Colorathon, and I did Friday, Sunday, Monday, uh, we're using dark chrome yellow, then last weekend, we had the gold, uh, gold stream, so I did Friday, Saturday, Monday, and then this weekend is the, um, Spooktober Colorathon, so I'm doing Friday, Sunday, Monday, so we'll take a breather next weekend, but Steve's been getting used to me, like, non-stop streaming. <laughs> But that's also another reason why I take, you know, the, the full school week off, just because A, we have school with the kids, but B, usually after Monday, my throat needs a little bit of a rest, and I'm like, all right, you know, and I'm pretty silent for the following couple of days after that. Uh, Jennifer, we are using Faber-Castell Polychromos. Let's see. Hmm. Open stock, nice. Shara, Shara, um... I don't know if you saw me mention it in any of the other chats, but I tried your suggestion of oat milk. I found some oat milk creamer and I have a frother and oh my goodness, the oat milk froths up so well. I got such a nice foam in my coffee today and it was so good. Um, so yes, thank you for that suggestion. Oat milk was absolutely genius. I love it. Yes, the Victorian one. Yeah. Yeah. Polychromos, polychromos. Apologize for my wife. She has issues <laughs> what everyone else eats. No, it's true. It's true. Uh, Tanya, I didn't post it uh, in the Discord food section yet, but I did post... Let's see. I'm also trying to remember what pencils I'm using. I'm still using dark chrome yellow. I want to fill this in a little bit more. I did post a video, Tanya, on Instagram of the soup that I made tonight. So if you want to know what I ate for dinner, uh, you can look at the video. It's very tasty soup. <laughs> have I tried almond milk? Not in my coffee. I have tried almond milk in general, um, but not in my coffee. I didn't realize that they had a specific oat milk creamer and I was just like, heck yeah. And it's only got like four grams of sugar and it's gluten-free and yeah, it was just, yeah, it was really good. It foamed up so nice. I was very excited. And if I'm missing anything, I apologize. Oh, Barbara, yes, get some rest. Thanks for hanging out. It was delicious, chat. Yes, yes, the soup was delicious. No picking on Tanya. <laughs> Is it fatty enough to froth? Yeah, yeah, I was surprised. It got really, like, it was just really thick and really foamy. I was just like, oh my gosh. It just felt like I just dropped a bunch of foam on top of my coffee, but it was flipping delicious, man. Okay. Oh, yeah, Joanna, it's great. Um, it was Nestle Bliss Oat Milk Vanilla Creamer. Is what it was. And um, it's only got like one gram of fat, but it's coconut oil. So it's a healthy fat um, that's in it. So it's really, really good. Do I do nut milk? Um, I haven't. I've tasted almond milk before. Um, I'm using burnt sienna. Um, but as far as in my coffee, I haven't expanded to that yet. I tried the oat milk first. And yeah, it just frothed really well. And I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of in love. I would. I love a good bowl of cereal though. So I would like to find... A good substitute for um, a, a milk substitute for cereal 
My problem is, is I'm so used to the flavor of cow's milk that I don't know that I would enjoy a bowl of cereal with any other kind of milk, you know? Nut pods? What are those, Jennifer? Making a note, okay. Yeah, exactly, Cher. It was really good. <laughs> oh my god, Tanya! Oh, Lord. Yep. All right, Mary, I'm rolling my head with you. <laughs> Evelyn, sorry, I love my moon juice. Uh, I love it too, Evelyn, but it's been upsetting my tummy lately. So I was trying to find uh, other alternatives. So, you know, just slowly figure, you know, adding replacements in when I can kind of deal. Anya, you're just over there giggling like a 12 year old. Oh, my gosh. Protein shakes with the cereal. Interesting. Isn't that kind of thick? Tanya, I'm just shaking my head. <laughs> You're welcome, Mary. Yeah, I think it's supposed to, Joanna. <laughs> Orange juice on your cereal? Really? Regular oat milk in a cereal? Is this the flavor? Emily, she's giggling. Oh, I can hear her giggle in my head, Mary. I've heard it so many times on your stream. It, her giggle literally, like, replayed in my head. I'm using orange clays. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I think the problem is a lot of the substitute milks are a little too sweet. Than, like, it's sweeter than what I'm used to on a bowl of cereal. I mean, because my, my go-to cereal that I like is I like, like, Crispix, which is, like, a little bit of a drizzle of honey, which I know is kind of counterproductive since I'm saying it's too sweet. But it's, like, I expect a certain flavor from my milk, and I, I think I have, you know, a flavor in mind, and then when I taste it and it's not, it, like, throws me a little bit. Chardonnay cereal? I, I could be down with that. Milking cows and then coming in, eat breakfast, fresh milk, full-on milk. See, that would be really good. Unsweetened almond and oat milk. Maybe I'll try the unsweetened almond. That could be a thing. I mean, because it's not like I'm just drinking it straight. But I just, I just want to make the change to my diet to see if that helps. You know how when you're like trying to kind of like pinpoint maybe what might be the problem? That, that's kind of what I'm doing. I can do, I can't do a lot of regular milk, so I have to figure something out. Yeah, see, well, the oat milk was absolutely, I use milk treated with lactase enzyme. Oh, interesting. See, I don't think I'm lactose intolerant. I think it's going to be probably more of sensitivity than anything else. Dark chrome yellow. But anyway, the, the oat milk was a fun experiment, and it just frothed amazingly, and it was so good in the coffee. And if anybody needs to go gluten-free or needs a milk alternative for their coffee, I highly, 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 highly recommend, or tea, or tea. I haven't really gotten, a, like, I drink a lot of herbal teas and stuff, but I haven't gotten around to really straight up black tea with milk. I think I need to try that, especially now that I've found a milk substitute I'm happy with. Yeah, the oat milk is really good, Mary. I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it a lot. Okay, we're going to use some cream here by the window. And when we go to do the window, we'll probably add a bit more detail around the edge, but we're just focused on the skin of the pumpkin right now. we go all right and we're gonna use that dark chrome yellow again I want to fill this area in here trick is when you do like a full section trying to remember what you did on the section before you know what I mean all right so now we're gonna go ahead and use sunflower oil in it do they I didn't notice that what's wrong with sunflower oil sherry I was reluctant to try oat milk, and now I'm total convert. I drink Oatly or Chobani plain unsweetened. Oh, there you go. Can you show again your Discord link? Of course. Um, so, Angela, what you'll do, if you're on mobile, um, exit out of live chat. You'll go next to the title. Hit the little arrow. It'll open the description. In the description below for the video, it'll have the Facebook group. And then right below that, it'll say, join our brand new Discord. And it says discord.gg slash nzrwtbw. You'll click that. And then you will get a prompt to go ahead and download uh, the app for it. Oh, it's a nut thing. Okay, so it's something personal to you that it bothers you. I got you. I've been on a licorice spice tea kick. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds real good. Um, okay, olive green yellowish. Hmm, I need to sharpen that. Yeah, that sounds really good. What brand of tea do you like, Ev? I mean, I'm doing the loose leaf tea now. Tonight, I'm drinking a tea called Raspberry Patch. 
um, but I do the adagio tees. Okay, olive green, yellowish. I don't know. Once once I started live streaming, uh, all of you schooled me on uh, correct tea tea uh, etiquette, and I gotta say, I've become a bit of a tea snob now. I can't go back to tea bags. I really like loose leaf tea. <laughs> so I've figured out my I've figured out my favorites that I like, and so I have um, slightly larger bags of those. But um, yeah, I really like the raspberry for like a fruity tea. I like it a lot. I get my tea from the Coffee and Tea Exchange out of Chicago. Oh, okay, very nice. I drink Numi organic tea. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I've definitely gotten a tad spoiled with the uh, with the loose leaf tea for sure. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and use our Prismacolor white. Um, usually, I will wipe off the tip of my white. I don't know if you can see here. Let's go ahead and get this in focus. Okay, so you see, I wiped off some, but not all. You see how on the very tip of the white, there is the tiniest bit of orange? So I already have on an orange on here, yes. But if I were to start on a lighter um, spot, it would kind of drag that orange color around. So whenever you blend with your white, you want to kind of wipe your um, the tip of your Prismacolor off on a towel, rag, pants, whatever you want to do, um, and uh, smooth it out. Fancy, fancy. I know, right? They have black oolong herb green and white teas. Nice. Perfect, Angela. Awesome. Like I said, um, like I know in the post, you know, I put a lot of people, you know, might not be familiar with what Discord is or, you know, maybe just don't want to download another app. And that is just fine. There's, you know, this isn't like a, this isn't like Patreon or anything. This is literally just if you want to join in the conversation you know, carry on the conversation after streams are over, you know, because a lot of us are around each other quite a bit and we enjoy each other's conversation and company. And this is just a way to continue that after the streams are over. So um, I really enjoy it and enjoy chatting with all of you. And hey, we have a Doctor Who channel. Well, you'll probably hear Lazzie and I geek out a lot, but it also has a lot of, you know, potential. Angela, thank you. Welcome to the Colorist Package. Can we get some hypes and chat for Angela? Here we go. Hype, hype, hype. And you can also type exclamation point hype. There we go. And after stream, all everybody that's joined the um, Discord, I will go through and for those of you that are members on YouTube, um, I will make sure that your roles are changed so that you have uh, YouTube member permissions in there. So um, yes, we will do that as well. All right, Burnt Sienna. The Colorist Package. So that's just the name of the membership, Pamela. And what that gets you is a little badge. You'll see um, some people have pencils next to the name. Some are different colors. That's based on how long they've been a member. Um, one, it's a way of supporting the streamer. Um, but two, you get the fancy badge. You also get access to all of the custom emotes for the channel. And then that will unlock YouTube membership status in the Discord channel, um, where I eventually will post um, additional content. I haven't yet. I haven't created the pages so right now at this very moment it gets you access to the youtube membership channels it gives you the badge and it gives you the emotes so that's it but there will be future future stuff i have plans um and in the members only channels i can like post uh post links or maybe extra discount codes so that is like i said that part hasn't started yet but i am planning the future it's just I've been streaming like crazy every weekend and I just haven't had time to put it together yet, but that will be at some point in the um, probably very near future. All right, so Burnt Sienna is what we're using now. Oh, you're fine, Cindy. But that's also why I'm not doing like, uh, I, I don't, I've thought about it, but like I, I'm not really doing, you know, member exclusive streams at the moment. Like I, I don't want anybody to feel left out by any means. All it is, is it, it's just perks and, and you know, just little things. It's not like you won't be able to experience um, everything my, you know, my, I, I have, you know, my YouTube and the Facebook and everything has to offer, um, uh, 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 you know, on a regular basis. So it's not necessary. It's just a little bit extra. Just so you know, evil illustrator scared the dickens out of me with the dangling spider. Thought it was real. Oh no, Patty! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sitting here eating Swedish fish and barbecue lays. I feel so fancy. That actually sounds delicious, Ashley. I'm cool with that. Oh no, I'm evil illustrator now. Oh no. <laughs> hi, hi, Helen. 
Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. There have been the occasion where I've glanced up uh, at OBS and for literally just a brief millisecond, I did have to take a double tick. <laughs> so you're not alone. I don't know if I'll leave this the spider up for the next stream. We'll see. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Okay, so Sanguine. <laughs> seemed like a good idea at the time, I swear. Oh gosh, I would not want to open those boxes, Joanna. Alright, using that sanguine here. Alright, and then let's go ahead and use our orange glaze. It over everything here. Every October? Oh man. 55 degrees in your house? Oh my gosh, I wish. I don't even know what the temperature is, but it reached like a full 80 in here while I was making the soup tonight. It is getting cooler, but I also had the oven on and the stove on, and I was just like, ah, but that was like right at that moment. Had to do the TARDIS? Yes, Angela, yes. Uh, Angela, if you like Doctor Who, um, in the Discord we have a Doctor Who channel where Lazie and I gleefully post gifts of David Tennant. <laughs> Passion tea? I do like, um, I haven't been to Starbucks in ages, but if I get something at Starbucks, I really like the uh, Passion tea lemonade. So yes, I agree on that one, Cindy. We get a certain bird eating, oh man. Oh, so I can send you a pic of my Doctor Who cake on Discord? Yes, Joanna, there is a food channel. There's a food channel. So that'll be perfect for it. Dark chrome yellow. Because I may or may not have totally spammed it with uh, food pics today. <laughs> may or may not. And by may or may not, I mean I totally did. And I definitely don't have an entire folder of food pics on my computer that I had, that I, you know, reined myself in and didn't post all of them. I like food. <laughs> I'm just going over the top here, Rook. Um, I feel like this needs a little bit more of the reddish orange. So we're going to grab Sanguine. Sanguine. We're going to do another giveaway here shortly. So the giveaways tonight are to celebrate Spooktober, but also because we hit 10,000 subbies on YouTube. Woohoo! We hit 10,000 on Instagram. What was it, everyone? Was it a couple weeks ago, last month? So we did a giveaway. I think I did an event for that one. Um, that one was really exciting because I got the swipe up feature on Instagram, which is like, it's a cool feature. I like it a lot. Um, we need to go a little bit darker on that. Um, but yeah, so we're doing four. We're doing some extra giveaways because it's super exciting. Thanks, Helen. Oh, awesome, Tara Lynn. Well, especially if I start doing some more um, teapot coloring pages, we will definitely have the opportunity to create more teapot stickers. My life is food pics, dog pics, coloring pics. Well, then, Joanna, the Discord is the perfect place for you. <laughs> awesome, Karen. Congratulations. I remember when I hit my first 1,000, I colored a page specifically for it. I think I have it... Um, in my uh, Enchanted Forest, but if you scroll down on my Instagram, you can see it, and I, I colored a page specific for it. Spe specifically for it. I was very excited. So that is super exciting. Congratulations, Karen. All right, dark chrome yellow. Go. Next up, the YouTube button. <laughs> All right, and our sip of tea here. See, now this one would be a little bit darker, but we have that kind of glow um, around the window. Let's go ahead and do a couple of these, and we'll shift. I know we're not, I know it seems like we're going slow, but I. it just takes a while to do all the right layers, and I don't want to rush this and do a subpar picture for all of you, so we'll get through it eventually. We will. When I get to the point where I'm using the same colors and I'm doing the same kind of coloring style, um, sometimes I will choose to do that off stream so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do the same thing over and over. So I think what I might do, 
um, for next time when we, after, after Sunday, of course, um, depending on how far we get is like, maybe I'll color this bottom pumpkin house since it's the same kind of orange and browns and get the rest of this colored so that we can do things like the door and the stem and the corn and the, and the, the mouse and stuff. Otherwise I think we'll probably end up having too many sections to this. It's kind of what I did when we did the, um, uh, uh, um, mermaid and we did the mermaid colorathon. I colored a lot of the shell off stream because it was a lot of the kind of same repetitive stuff. And I don't want to do that to you guys. What did you just get me into? Oh no. <laughs> did you get into the discord? 30 teapots. Oh, Angela, that's amazing. I love that. You and Mary will get along well. Mary collects teapots. Um, okay. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Burnt sienna. Sienna. And then cinnamon. And then at some point I do shut my discord off for the night. So if you respond, if you type something in discord or a question or I don't respond right away or something, it's just because I'm probably sleeping and I will check it in the morning. All right. No, we haven't done the third giveaway yet, Sherry. You're good. Oh, they were saying congratulations because Karen hit 1,000 subscribers on her channel. So if you aren't following Karen, you should go give her a little follow. I wish you could, like, click straight, straight through, but YouTube got rid of that thing. But, yes, pop over to Karen's channel and give her a follow if you're not already. Cream. Okay, and then we're going to grab our Prismacolor White. I don't really do Halloween. Don't even color the school pages in coloring books. Uh, Patty, I don't like the school pages either, but again, that's just me not really liking spooky things. I'm very much a happy-go-lucky person, and there's enough in the real world that, world that stresses me out. So when I do my coloring, I need it all to be, you know, chill and relaxing and, you know, not stressful. <laughs> all right, walnut brown. bit of white there okay we're gonna grab our burnt sienna okay and then cinnamon thought I was doing well with five teapots definitely need to up my game um I have my metal kettle and I have one ceramic teapot but when I make my tea I only make one cup of a t at a time so I really have no use for my teapot so my teapot is more decorative and anything else? I think eventually I want to upgrade to like an electric kettle. I think that would be good. Okay, cream. Go. Oh. Yeah, an electric kettle would be nice. But that's eventually. Awesome, Marilyn. What time is it? 922. All right, let's do our third giveaway real quick. And this one will be for, um, let's see, we did a sticker and a page. This one will be for another sticker. Okay, so we are going to... The word is going to be teapot. One word. Okay, teapot, one word. Uh, go ahead and type in teapot, one word, and this will be for a sticker in my Etsy store. All right, now let's go ahead and do walnut brown. Walnut brown. Brandy brown brown. Perfect, there we go. Hold my beer, teapot crazy here. <laughs> there you go, Joanna. Let's see. So it is 9.23. We have little, a uh, little over 35 minutes left. And CBC Coloring is going to be after me. That's Heather. Um, so here in a while, I'll have the mods put the link to her channel in there. Um, yeah, we still got a little bit of time here. We'll get a little bit more of this pumpkin done. I think what I'll do is I'll finish up this stripe, maybe do this, and then maybe switch to something else. Maybe we'll work on the little clothes on the line or something. Hang on one second, chat. Sometimes I jack my daughter's little hair ties and they're these tiny little plastic ones. 
um, just when I'm in a hurry. And the problem is they're not meant to hold my hair. And so every now and then I'll be doing something and I'll just hear this little, and this little snap. <laughs> the hair tie will have snapped. I'm like, oh, okay. So that's what just happened there a second ago is I heard a little snap and then my little, my little tiny ponytail that I had here popped out. Like, oh, so I had to switch it. Wait, what was actually a thing? Okay, so we've got a lot of shadow here. So it, it's funny, the pumpkin looks like it's a different shape because of the way you can't see it, but actually the pumpkin com continues like under here. This is just like the balcony that is attached to it. So um, there will be a bit more shadow around this one just because of the balcony. Now, quick question, um, does anybody still need to see the um, video with all of the illustrators or are the links below good enough? Because we could play that before we go today too. I have a tea service of snow people skating. The snowman is the teapot and the snow woman is the cream and sugar bowl. Oh, how funny. Oh, how funny, Tanya! <laughs> yeah, exclamation point, Spooktober! That's the schedule! Oh, and then... <laughs> and then uh, it looks like a time one went through, too. Oh, no, wait, that was the Facebook one and the Spooktober. Ah, I got you. I got you. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna make a, um, command. I just honestly forgot to, uh, that's like exclamation point Discord, and then that'll have the link there, but I haven't made it yet. Ah, thanks, Joanna! All right, has everybody entered in the word teapot? Teapot, teapot. And this is for a chance to win a sticker. Open worldwide so anyone can join. Please play it out of the loop. Okay, cool. Well, at the very end here, before we switch over to Heather, I'll go ahead and play it. And that will have all of the pictures available for Spooktober. Um, most of them, if not all of them, pretty sure all of them should be on sale for the entirety of October. So follow along this weekend, continue to color all the way through, uh, Halloween. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big event. Awesome, Cheryl. And like I said, I'll update everybody's member status, um, after stream. All right, everybody ready? Mona, you got in. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. We are going to roll five, four, three, two, one. Barb's happy place. Barb, you are our winner. So Barb, go ahead and type in exclamation point email. Here we go. Exclamation point email. Barb, shoot me an email there with your mailing address and which sticker you would like. You can check out all my stickers on my Etsy store. Um, just type in exclamation point Etsy. So congratulations, Barb. Wait till I get her confirmation in chat here. Perfect. Awesome, Barb. Yeah, so just uh, take a look at my store and shoot me an email um, for the sticker you would like. And I will get that out to you. Let's see what's today. Friday. Um, yeah, I will get that out to you tomorrow. And then we are going to do one more giveaway before the night ends. Um, and that will be for um, a page from my Etsy store. Of course, of course. Okay, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and use burnt sienna. No worries, Kim. No worries. I keep wanting to call you cat, but you switched to Ev now. No worries, Ev. I got to make a, a physical change in my brain here. Okay, next topic here. Favorite costume that you have dressed up as in your lifetime. I think probably my favorite joint costume that Steve and I did 
you know, when you go to the kids' birthday parties, you know, a lot of the parents are, you know, dressed up or you kind of, you know, especially if you're at, you know, a Halloween party with the kids. Anyway, um, one year I just, it was something just silly. I got on Amazon, um, but it was like some polyester costume. Anyway, we were both pieces of bread. One had peanut butter and one had jelly. And so for Halloween, Steve and I were peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Sounds good, Sherry. Starting pumpkin number two, then on to the sunflowers. Awesome. Mary Poppins, wedding dress, bride of the dead, Charlie Chaplin, which nice. Amy Winehouse, the eyeliner and the wig. I like it, Allie. Jack in the box, my mom made it was awesome. Oh. Where do I go to get the spooktober pages, please? Uh, just type in exclamation point Etsy. And that will take you to my Etsy store. If you're wanting all of the other illustrators' Spooktober pages, go to the description of this video, and it will have the link to everybody's channels and everybody's Etsy stores. Ooh, a tiger. 50s outfit complete with poodle skirt I made and saddle shoes. Nice. I love it. The kids thought it was hilarious, too, because since we were peanut butter and jelly, randomly we would just run up to each other and, like, smash the bread together so we were a sandwich, and the kids just thought it was hilarious. Cousin It and Uncle Fester on Be or, or Beauty and the Beast or Elliot and Gertie. Nice. That's hilarious. The Cousin It costumes are always absolutely wonderful. I made my own Alice in Wonderland costume one year, but that was just because I wanted to be Alice in Wonderland, but I couldn't find any Alice in Wonderland costumes that weren't, like, sexy Alice in Wonderland, and I'm just like, ugh. So I, uh, I ended up making my own. <laughs> Let's see. My favorite costume was a gypsy pirate. Nice. I like the Beauty and the Beast when Shannon Brian was beautiful. Oh, funny. Brian was Gertie and Belle. <laughs> Dressed as a monk and used an old man mask. Kids at school couldn't figure out who I was. Did it because it was going to be freezing for trick-or-treating and could lay your big time on. Oh, nice. Nice, Patty. It's not really a Halloween costume, but our Santa and Mrs. Claus was a labor of love to make. That's right. That's right, Joanna. You and your husband do uh, Santa and Mrs. Santa and Mrs. Claus. That's hilarious. Let's see. 930. You guys got to help me keep an eye on the time. Oh, Cindy Lee, I think your video might be behind, hon. Go ahead. Actually, can somebody type it in chat for her to let her know to maybe refresh her stream? I don't want her to miss on the on the last giveaway. She's probably a good couple minutes behind. When I was going through chemo, I went as Uncle Fester. Nice, Christine. Nice. All right. Sanguine. Yeah, because Heather's going to start about 30 minutes, so um, we'll do one last giveaway here in a little while, and I want to make sure everybody gets a chance to, uh, to get in that. Okay. Oh, Cindy. I'm sorry, Cindy. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Karen. But Santa and I will arrive somewhere. Oh, cool, Joanna. Yeah, I guess it really wouldn't be uh, all that safe to have them sitting on laps. Well, for Halloween this year, because we're not taking the kids trick-or-treating, um, we've, we've decked out the house in Halloween stuff. We're going to do um, games, crafts. We're going to set up little little trick-or-treating stations around the house. Um, obviously, we're going to carve pumpkins. There's a pumpkin patch here that is all set up um, in about a week and then officially um, opens in two weeks. But you can still go and see it before they officially announce, hey, we're open for the pumpkin patch. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to go real early in the morning because it's kind of small. It's not indoors, but it is fenced and it's kind of small, so it's pretty easy to bump elbows with people there. Um, orange glaze. So what we're going to do is we're going to go before the pumpkin patch officially opens and we're going to go like super first thing early in the morning. So there shouldn't really be anybody there. Um, and so that way the kids can kind of have um, free, free run, pick out their pumpkins and we don't have to worry too much about um, interacting with, you know, other kids or whatever else. So I think think it will be a good uh good change so they're pretty excited i don't think they'll think anything last of the holiday and then we've got their birthday short after that so we've got plans for that so i think that 
Although this year's holidays will be a bit unorthodox, I think we're going to make it work. Let's see. Uh, send them on a treasure hunt around the house for treats. Oh, I like the treasure hunt idea. We were just going to do like set up stations where like Steve and I handed out candy, um, you know, take some of their stuffed animals and set up stations. But I kind of like the idea of a hunt, Joanna, like almost a scavenger hunt with clues and stuff. I like that. They might enjoy that a little bit better. I like that. We're going to have to do that. <laughs> I'm getting all of Cindy's answers now. Uh, make clues. Yeah, yeah, scavenger hunt, Charlotte. Exactly. Yes, perfect. I think that's a good idea. All right, dark chrome yellow. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. All right, dark chrome yellow. Yeah, that's a real good idea. I think we'll do that. All right. Um, let's see, one of my mods, whether it's Steve or Kenny or Shannon, will you remind me? I want to do the last giveaway at 9.45, so in 10 minutes, I just want to make sure that we get that last giveaway in before everyone starts heading over to Heather's. So 10 minutes till the last giveaway. One of the best birthdays was when my best friend had me do a scavenger hunt for my birthday present. Aww! Ah, perfect. Okay, thanks, Cindy. Uh, yeah, I there was... One of my sisters, my parents got her a guitar for, it was either a birthday or Christmas, I can't remember. Or no, it might have been a keyboard. It might have been a keyboard. Either way, you know, having it wrapped up would have been pretty recognizable. So they did do a scavenger hunt, and then eventually it led them to the trunk of the car where it was hidden. But I remember them doing a scavenger hunt for that. But I like that. Steve, if you're listening, I'm thinking scavenger hunt for the kids for Halloween. I think that would be... Uh, a good alternative. I think they would enjoy that. Okay, actually, we're going to fill in the rest of that kind of lightly. She even had me going to other people's houses. How funny. Oh my gosh, Steve. You know what, Chad? He does that to me all the time. And the kids do it too. Right, Karen? I know, right? We're like, hey, remind me to do something in such and such a time. And then he'll say, hey, don't forget to do something in such and such a time. And it's like, gosh, dang it. Oh my gosh. All right. Walnut brown. <laughs> he, he does it just to antagonize me. <laughs> Steve, Joanna says set it up. Oh no, I'm the, I'm the holiday gal here. I think I'd be sad if Steve set it up. I enjoyed like all of the holiday stuff, doing the crafts with the kids, decorating, all that kind of stuff. The real, the real trick is to reel me in before the house gets too cluttered with decorations. Husband says that all the time. I like it. It's a man thing. I know it. He loves he loves the jokes. He does. The more cringeworthy they are, the better. Okay. Doing our layers here. I know I said I was just gonna do one more, but I think we're we're in it now. We're in it now. We just gotta finish this part of the pumpkin here before before stream ends. Same evil illustrator. Steve Evil Illustrator. Hubs and Sun remind me also right after all. Yeah, yeah, and my kids do the exact same thing. There's no such thing as too much. Well, I mean, I suppose if you couldn't walk across the floor and were running into things, that might be a tad much. But our place isn't huge. So uh, if I were to really load up the place with decorations, it could get a little overwhelming. You know, like especially when by the end of the day, the kids have their stuff everywhere. It's just like, nope, nope, place is closing in on me. Can't do it. <laughs> Don't tell me Steve does dad jokes. Oh, man. Evelyn, Steve, like... He loves the dad jokes so much. To be fair, though, I bust out with the occasional mom joke. Like, you know, and I go, and I give I give Steve this little look and he just he rolls his head at me. Mary, you're not the only one. Steve rolls his head at me. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to do burnt sienna. Welcome back, Cindy. <laughs> burnt sienna. Yeah, I figured this picture would take us a little while, but I want to, you know, it's, it's, 
it's October. It's Halloween. We got to color an October page. And I already, co already colored the bat page. So if you're looking for that one too, I have that one up on Instagram. My father did dad jokes before they were called dad jokes. How hilarious. I'm putting two seven feet inflatable polar bears on your patio. Joanna, I love it. Now the question is, Joanna, did you choose inflatable polar bears because of their resemblance to your two very large white dogs? <laughs> Okay. I feel like I have a sneeze coming on, but it's not manifesting, so I'm gonna ignore it. Let's see, used to embarrass us by telling waitresses that their feet don't match. <laughs> oh my word, Joanna. Or, or uh, that's hilarious. Sorry, I read Joanna's name at the bottom. That's hilarious. Utterly hilarious. All right, 188. Oh, so funny. Something about dad jokes, man. I mean, the cheesier, the better. I'm at the point with my kids, though, that I'll tell jokes and they'll literally look at me like I'm a nut job. Like, my, I don't think my kids think I'm cool anymore. I've passed the my, my parents are, are amazing stage and now they just roll their eyes at me. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right, Joanna? It's because of your dogs. Or asking if the cook wears combat boots. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Your dad sounds like a fun guy, Ev. That's awesome. Okay. Now let's go ahead and grab our orange glaze. Don't forget the awesome one. One concert costs only 45 cents. Oh, 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 I think I know this one. Give me a sec. Ah, it's a concert with 50 Cent and Nickelback. Because you get a Nickelback. <laughs> I had an uncle who always doing it. Oh, no. Wait till they get, grow up. Uh, ABD. <laughs> this tear, right? Aw, Ev. Yep, 50 Cent featuring Nickelback. <laughs> Sherry groan. I was saying, I think I heard that one the other day. But I was just like, I know this one. I know this one. That's amazing. Uh, my dad used to ask my friends what color undies they had on. Oh lord, Angie. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that be that would be cringeworthy. ABD dinosaurs roam the streets. <laughs> yeah, Sherry groan. I don't know. I don't think as a teenager I appreciated the uh, the the jokes. Let's see. Uh, okay, dark chrome yellow. Uh, it's funny because kids around six usually start trying to get in on the comedy scene and start making up their own jokes. Not my favorite stage. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, da daughter's not six anymore, but yes. Very much trying to be the funny one and make jokes. But every now and then it's funny because um, they're old enough now that they're they're fairly quick. They will, they will pipe back with something that actually just makes us just crack up and it's just so hilarious. Or when they like repeat something like, you know, inside jokes that, that Steve and I are saying, you know, they'll repeat that. That's hilarious. He's not eaten in six weeks, F. That's hilarious. <laughs> what, Shannon? Come on, it's a good dad joke. All right, we're using the white now. Oh, no, you know, wait, I forgot. You forgot this one. Joanna, that's hilarious. Deep down, part of me wants that, uh, wants that dinosaur costume. I'd totally wear it to go to the grocery store now. Hey, you're, you're wrapped up in nylon and protected in plastic. I mean, that's gotta be pretty safe, right? Grocery store run as a, as a T-Rex. I could get down with that. Hi, Robin. Robin, you're just in time. We're going to be doing a giveaway here in just a couple minutes. In fact, why don't we go ahead and get it started running so you can start entering in um, your words so that we don't run out of time. So this is going to be for any page in my Etsy store, okay? So type in the word page, P-A-G-E, page. I'm going to let that run for just a little bit. P-A-G-E. P-A-G-E, page, uh, and then we will roll it here shortly. 
And that will be for any page in my Etsy store. Find my Etsy store at exclamation point Etsy or in the description below. <laughs> Dad jokes, Kenny. Dad jokes. That's what you missed. All right, now we're going to grab our white again now that we added that olive green. That was the um, olive green yellowish. You wouldn't be able to pick up anything with your little T-Rex arms. That is true. That is true. But I'd be safe. You know, just run around Lowe's in a little T-Rex costume. Turn around two by fours, you know, getting the getting lumber I need. It'd be hilarious. Blending this all in with the white. You no, know, it's a different color than the other two panels, but now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and layer on more color. I mean, I don't even know how many layers we end up doing for these pumpkins. A lot. We do a lot of layers. <laughs> Good job, Shannon. Time for giveaway. Still did my job. I love it, Shannon. Well, you know what? With that, has everybody had a chance to enter? Okay, I'm going to give you a few more, few more seconds here. Did I use different colors on the first panel? No, Allie, I didn't. This is just the stage. So we did um, like two or three layers of the colors here, then white, and now we're gonna go over with the colors again. So, I mean, we're doing like six, seven, eight layers. I don't know, but these will look like this eventually. We'll, we'll try and finish this off before we end here so you can see. My dad's favorite, ask someone if they wanted to hear a dirty joke. When they say yes, he said, would say, Harry and Sally played in the mud. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so yes, type in the weird page, okay? Uh, and then we are going to roll it, okay? So I'm going to do a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and roll it. Loretta! Loretta, you are our winner, Loretta! Go ahead and take a look at my Etsy store, shoot me an email, and let me know what page you want. Walnut Brown, congratulations! A little bit of walnut brown. This should be it. She's just impressed awake. A little bit, Shannon. Well, at least I'm not going for like four hours again. Those are a bit intense. But also a lot of fun. Okay, now we're going to grab our Sienna Brown. Let's see, has Loretta responded yet? Loretta! Oh, right, she couldn't hear. Somebody, well, I guess, somebody type a chat. Everybody's saying congratulations, Loretta. Okay, we got to wait until, oh, she did. Woohoo, I shall go take a peek. Awesome, Loretta. And then just shoot me an email. You can type in exclamation point email. Okay, so before we go, we have 15 minutes left. I'm going to keep coloring. Um, if there's something you need in chat, just put it in caps, but I'm going to go... Um, over a few more things again, okay? So things we covered today, make sure that you check out all of the illustrators and streamers and all of the things that are participating. It is in the description below, okay? Everybody's pages will be on sale for the entire month of October, or at least they should be. Uh, we're also using Burnt Sienna. Okay, so uh, do that. Also type in exclamation point Spooktober. That is going to give you the schedule for all of the streamers that are involved in this event. So if you are, you know, someone's new, go ahead and go drop them a follow or set reminders if they've got their event scheduled already. Um, so please go do that. Next, we're going to have CBC uh, Coloring Book Club. That is Heather. So head over there as soon as we're done here. Um, the other thing is, so I am running my Spooktober sale, but I am also running a sale on stickers right now. So if you've had your eye on a sticker, now is probably the time to do it. Um, also, Discord. We have a new Discord server. It is. It doesn't cost anything. It's free. It's not like Patreon. Um, it's just a place where we can, can continue the conversation. 
um, after live streams, have fun, hang out, build uh, more of a community. Um, the link for that is also in the description below if you're watching this back. Um, so you can click there, join. If you don't have the app, it will prompt you to download it. You can do it on mobile, on tablet, on a desktop. So feel free to join there. If you are a member, your membership status will carry over into Discord. Am I forgetting anything? Mods, am I forgetting anything? <laughs> Well, I'm excited for you, Loretta. All right, Sanguine. I think we actually talked about that too. So yeah, we did four giveaways today. So I'm glad you were able to get one of them. But yeah, so loads of stuff going on. Um, I am going to be streaming this page again on Sunday. And then we will be finishing up this page on Monday. And then after we finish that, then we'll come back to this uh, Halloween page and we will be finishing that up as well. I don't know if I've forgotten anything or not. Um, awesome, Terrilyn. Well, I think it's just based on, you know, how much you interact and stuff. I don't know when the level stop. That's kind of like an automated thing, but it is still kind of fun to be like, oh, hey, I made it to that level. Um, there's no rewards for levels or anything. It's just, it's just kind of fun. Um, so I will go into Discord after stream and I will update everybody's roles and, and whatnot for those that are members um, on YouTube. And then either tonight or tomorrow, um, I'm using ch 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 dark chrome yellow. Tonight or tomorrow, oh no, I missed, sorry, not, not that one. I want to use orange glaze. Um, I will go ahead and announce on Instagram. Like I said, I did kind of like a soft announce in Facebook and YouTube because I wanted to try and work out the kinks, which was good because there were a couple glitches I had to fix. Um, but we should be all good now. And then I will announce it on Instagram as well. Oh, thanks, Sherry. <laughs> Sounds good, Charlotte. Awesome, Loretta. Well, shoot me that email because I might forget between now and then, and then that way I have it in the email and I can be like go down the list and be like, oh, okay, I'll go ahead and, and email that to her. Aw, thank you, Shelly. Yeah, so Heather's going to be starting in about nine minutes. I'm just going to finish up these three um, little panels here so they can look the same. Everything kind of gets darkened up a little bit. All right, uh, let's see. Dark chrome yellow... But um, obviously, everybody, you know, feel free to get sleep. But people are going to be streaming all weekend long. So feel free to pop in. And even if you can't be in chat, you know, or even, you know, watch their videos for long, pop in, drop them a thumbs up. Um, you know, that helps helps people to find their videos. And, you know, it's kind of a quiet way of helping to support them. So, yeah. Aw, thanks, everyone. And I apologize if I missed anybody's comments when chat is flying and I'm trying to make sure I get everything done. Occasionally I miss them. I try to keep up, but I apologize if I didn't. Um, but I'm just about done with this. Like I said, we'll be streaming again on Sunday, okay, where we will continue this page. And we'll do something other than pumpkins um, on Sunday. We'll start to do some of the other little stuff, too, okay? So it won't be all pumpkins all the time. For sure, everyone. Thank you all for being here. And before everyone goes too, um, I want to scroll down here. So we have some new people that subscribe. Lori, Dana, thank you. Evelyn, thank you for your super chat. Tara Lynn, thank you for your super chat. Uh, Angie and Allie and Angela, ooh, all A's, thank you for becoming members. Sherry, thank you for your super chat. Anna, thank you for subscribing. Belinda, thank you for your super chat. Oh, and Joanna, thank you for becoming a member. It was a fantastic, fantastic night tonight. I love having all of you here. These events are always so, 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 so much fun. So yeah, if you haven't yet, take a look at the Discord. Make sure you drop in at other people's uh, channels during the event. Have fun. Get your pages. Color. It's going to be loads of loads of fun all weekend long. We are just getting started. All right. So with that, let's zoom on out for a moment here. See, we're coming along. We're getting the pumpkin done. All right. So with that, everyone have so much fun. Thank you for being here. 
and I will see you all over at Heather stream, at least for a little while. I'm going to pop in and I'll say hi, but um, I'm going to check out the discord stuff and get that all up. But yeah, try and uh, lurk or drop thumbs ups if you can. Thank you all for being here. This has been an amazing, wonderful kickoff to the whole weekend. And I will see you all on Monday. I'm going to let the um, Spooktober video run. And uh, you guys can take a look at the pictures that are available. And don't forget to check out all of the illustrators shops. All right. Take advantage of those sales, people. All right. I will see you all on Sunday. Okay. Bye.